Hi everyone, August 17, 2015, positive ions versus negative ions. What are they? Ions. Ions are in our atmosphere. And we have positive and negative ions. And positive ions don't make us feel good. And they're actually bad for our health. Negative ions make us feel alive and energetic and, and are good for our health. This is one of the reasons why so many of you are suffering what you're suffering. Having difficulty with basic functioning, having difficulty just getting out of bed, feeling exhausted and lethargic and depressed and angry and irritable. Because our atmosphere has actually been depleted of negative ions because of the geoengineering, the aerosol spraying, the solar radiation management, chemtrails, call it whatever you will, but it's dangerous and it is, well, really destroying the air that we breathe, the air that we breathe. Not only is it the geoengineering, but it's also the frequencies, the electromagnetic and, and microwave frequencies. For about a year now, I can't tell you how many times I have thought, and I have actually spoken these words, but what I have thought is the air is dead. It's dead. There's no life in the air here in Anderson, South Carolina. And remember prior to thunderstorms, you know, we would, the air would be really heavy and um, we would have um, our symptoms, you know, when the thunderstorms would be rolling in. Many people, they would have arthritic flare-ups and or people would get moody or whatever the symptom was. And then after the thunderstorm, when the thunderstorm was gone, and how wonderful it was to just go outside and you wanted to just breathe in the air because it was cool and it was alive and it was rejuvenating because, of, you know, the thunderstorm actually had washed away a lot of the positive ions that it carried in and it left us with a whole lot of negative ions. That's why we felt so great after thunderstorms. That doesn't happen here. It does not happen here in Anderson, South Carolina. And I bet it doesn't happen anywhere anymore because man has taken over control of the weather. So after thunderstorms here in South Carolina, what we have is these white skies with gray clouds and the air is still dead and it smells dirty, dusty. Nothing is washed away from thunderstorms anymore. But I wanted to bring this to everybody's attention because this is a major factor in why people are really feeling horrible today. You know, we've got the GMOs that is not sustaining our health. We've got this uh, Fukushima radiation that Many are suffering the consequences of that. Nuclear power plants all across the country are leaking. We're drinking poisonous water. Our environment has become completely and utterly toxic. Positive and negative ions. So positive charged ions in the atmosphere are the primary cause of many of the major health and soil problems associated with the government and military barium salt aerosol from aircraft over the people and land of the United States and other countries. Barium salt and other chemical aerosols cannot be excluded as contributing damaging irritants. But little or no consideration has been given to the matter of positive and negative ions by those managing the atmospheric projects. I beg to differ. I actually do believe that they know that they're depleting the atmosphere of, of negative ions. What a great way to keep a whole people down by flooding the atmosphere with positive ions, depleting the negative ions, and you're going to have a whole sick population. The people will be irritable and depressed and sluggish and, and filled with a lot of symptoms that I will actually, that, that's in this article, so let me continue reading. Positive charged ions are a large, are to a large extent products and or byproducts of the government and military exercises and projects ongoing in the sky and in the air we breathe. breathe. 
positive charged ions are present because of the activity expressed in barium salt. Barium, aluminum, strontium, all of those things are in the, it's in the chemtrails, the aerosol spray that are coming out of um, aircraft. So expressed in barium salt and military weather control and various associated and other radiation present in the atmosphere. The entire man-made atmospheric environment contributes to the excessive positive ion count. Negative ions are not present in normal numbers because the conditions that generate negative ions have been limited, overcome, and or removed as a result of government and military activity in the atmosphere. Tesla experimented with electromagnetic flux and studied the Earth's gravitational field. During his research, he discovered that the ionization of the atmosphere would alter when it was charged by radio wave transmissions in the low frequency range of 10 to 80 hertz. Tesla also discovered that he could cause both positive and negative ionization of the atmosphere by manipulating the radio frequency. Why do we see so many cell phone towers all over the place? Further studies indicated that with positive ionization, people and animals became tired and lethargic, and with negative ionization, the effect was one of feeling active and energetic. It can be manipulated as a military and government tool. That's why so many of us have been screaming that cell phone towers are weapons. They are using it against the American people, the manipulation of radio waves. Ions are floating in the air all around us all of the time and have either negative or positive charge on them. Changes in their concentrations or in the ratio of positively to negatively charged molecules can have remarkable effects on plants and animals. It is known in science that ion depletion is the source of a wide range of human health problems, both mental and physical. These air ions are important to you because if they have a high proportion of negative ions in the clusters, you will feel lively, uplifted, and enthusiastic. Too many positive ions in the clusters will have you feeling depressed, lethargic, full of aches and pains and complaints. Negative ions are exceedingly beneficial for a person's metabolism as a means of enhancing human behavior. They act in a complex mechanism to bring about hormone and biochemical reactions in the body and brain. It is impossible to get an overdose of negative ions, which act like pure water in washing away dirty poisons. And generally, the more negative ions you are exposed to, the better and more uplifted you feel. Positive ions or the lack of negative ions may cause serotonin hyperfunction syndrome or irritation syndrome, irritation syndrome, inv which involves, and listen, how many of you are suffering from what I'm about to uh, list? Sleeplessness, irritability, tension, migraines, nausea, heart palpitations, heart flashes with sweaty or chills, with sweating or chills, tremor and dizziness. And the elderly become depressed and apathetic and extremely fatigued. But you don't have to be elderly. Um, you know, I'm not going to read this full article. I will link to it below. But there's a reason why people want to go to the beaches when they vacation or into the mountains or to areas where they have waterfalls. Because there's a high concentration of negative ions in those environments. That's why they feel rejuvenated after their vacations. I'm not sure if that's the case today. It was not too long ago. It's those negative ions that bring them back to the beaches and back to the mountains. You know, even if, even if this was all that was happening, that they were depleting our atmosphere of negative ions, just that in itself could create all of these conditions. So when you pile on this all-out massive assault on health, 
on our health, on life itself. You know, unfortunately, what we're going to be seeing is a depopulation agenda that is going to be incredibly successful because I know a whole lot of people who are really just hanging on. And frankly, I'm one of them. But what are these conditions? Arthritis symptoms, hands, feet, knees, neck symptoms may come and go. This is all, all from an overload of positive ions and a depletion of negative ions in the atmosphere. Joint disease, high blood pressure, cancer, sinusitis, pulmonary tuberculosis, peripheral neuritis, stress symptoms, negative ions can actually help kill bacteria and viruses. So we're suddenly seeing kind of this exponential increase in all of these viruses. Well, negative ions could kill them off. Um, mental instability, psychosis, mania, rage, clouded thinking with, with positive ions. Pulmonary emphysema, are you having difficulty breathing? Shortness of breath? That's what I've been experiencing like the past month. Um, pneumonia, laryngitis, dry hack and cough, respiratory illness, allergies, hay fever, depression, suicidal thoughts, psychosis, mania, nausea, general malaise, road rage, anger, shooting rage, positive ions is the reason it can actually create these conditions and asthma. Um, negative ions are as necessary as water and air to humans, animals, and soil. Our body systems will not adequately function without negative ions. Negative ions promote healing and good health to the total body and are utilized by all body systems. And how do they affect the whole body system? You can click on the link below and read the physiological consequences of breathing in negative ions versus positive ions. With every breath, with every breath we take, air ions get carried into our respiratory tract, be transferred across the lungs into the bloodstream, where they're transported to the red blood cells. Positive ions are damaging to the red blood cells. Negative ions are healing. They clear allergens and pollutants from your respiratory tract. God, it is, you know, they cause migraines and insomnia and um, joint pain. Uh, hair and skin can have an electric charge with too many positive ions. They can actually increase hot flashes with women who are going through menopause. Um, hay fever. Balance disturbances. Diarrhea. Yeah, all uh, our air is really important. <laughs> it's really important that they not destroy the atmosphere, but it is already destroyed. So, for any of you who have not tried a negative ion generator, please do the research and purchase one and see if it helps you feel any better. And I sure do hope it does. But I've, I've done this before periodically, and I'm going to do it again. Any of you, um, if you're experiencing, you know, not feeling well, if you could just drop a comment below. I know that it helps a lot of others to not feel alone with everything that they're struggling with and, and suffering from. You can drop a comment if you've had any of these problems and um, you've found something works for you to alleviate these symptoms. That would be great. Um, and I certainly do, uh, I, it would be my, my wish that everyone who's listening to this video feels terrific. My hunch is that that's not the case. Anyway, guys, thank you for listening. Hope you have a great night. The link is below, and please circulate this information.